Welcome to Sandy Flats Kids Art School. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Sandy's Kids Art School. I'm Sandy and today we're going to draw a Labrador puppy. And here is a Labrador puppy. They are so cute. They have great big brown eyes. And oh my goodness, they love to sleep. But most of all though, they love to be active. Yes. And look at those ears flapping in the wind. He's going zoom through the grass and they love to chew. Oh yes, Labrador puppies love to chew things and wreck things. So let's look at this. Oh, sweet little Labrador that we're going to draw. So it has great big eyes and a big triangular nose and a little pink tongue sticking out. The head is kind of big and the ears are like triangles on the side and the paws are kind of big. So let's start with those eyes and we're going to draw a circle with a diagonal line and a dot. And then we'll draw another one, because Labradors have two eyes. Yes, I know, I like to state the obvious. And there is the nose, it's triangular and it's sort of upside down with little curves on either end, not pointy. And a curve up for the bottom of the mouth. And on the other side, another curve up. And a little curve for the tongue and a little curve inside it. And we'll draw the head, so we'll start on the right side, draw a line across and up. Lovely. And the same thing on the left side, just at the bottom of the mouth. Draw a line and curve it up. And let's finish the head and curve it up. And a little bit of hair, little spikes. Yes. And curve it back down that way. And let's draw those ears. They're like triangles too with curves on them. Make them all curvy and soft. Because it's soft, like a puppy. Yes. And I'm going to draw some little eyebrows. Makes him look a little bit more dopey and cute. Yes. And we'll draw the body in a line down and curved at the bottom. And there's the bumps for the toes and a line up. And we'll draw the left, oh, right leg. Right leg when you're looking at it. And curve the bumps there for the paws and a curve around. And do the other paw the same way. Curve, curve, curve. And bring that line down. There we go. We've done most of our puppy. Yeah. Now let's draw that other little leg a line coming out just down the bottom on the left and the paw sort of shape there with some circles for the pads of the paws. Yeah, remember you can always pause the paws. <laughs> I'm so funny. Yeah, there's the tail and some more details. Little bits of hair and little freckles. You don't have to put these in. You could finish earlier, but you can if you want to. Little nostrils and little bits of extra hair. And yeah, oh. I'm just fixing up the bottom of the leg there, drawing a little bit more there, and some little claws on the paws. And remember, you can pause to draw the paws and any other part of the Labrador. I know, I'm making the same joke again. Yes, it's just so funny, not. And there's the grass. Yes, he's sitting on the grass. Okay, well done. So let's color in our Labrador puppy. They've got like a soft color. Or you could do a nice chocolate colored Labrador. Oh, they're so, so lovely, so cute and funny. Keep watching later for more drawing and coloring in ideas. But now it's time for Kids Art School Gallery. And today we have an amazingly colorful drawing from Alyssa. Alyssa has drawn a pug dog from our pug dog video with a rocket ship in the background with lots of colors. It's so colorful and amazing. And here's another coloring in idea. Labrador puppy getting into the paint with the purple and the green because Labrador puppies love to make lots of messes. Yes, they do. Or you could even draw your Labrador puppy with a clown wig and a clown hat and a clown like ruffly thing kind of thing around the neck sitting on a pink cupcake. Yeah, weird. Okay, did you know that when every time you draw something new, the drawing makes you a lot smarter? Yes, because your brain starts to grow. New pathways. Yes, did you know that? Your brain has pathways. Yes, little roads. And every time you draw something new, especially like something from kids' art school, your brain gets smarter. Yes, just like this puppy who is drawing in the park because he draws wherever he goes. He's getting smarter. Remember, you are unique and special and God loves you so much. And if you want to send in your drawings, I want to see them so much. And any drawing requests. Send them to Sandy Flat Kids Art School Facebook group that hopefully your parents have signed up to or your carers. Or check out the sandyflatart.com webpage or flatsandy28 at gmail.com. And goodbye, guys. I just love seeing how clever you're getting with your drawings. And remember, drawing 
makes you smarter every time you draw something new. Yes, drawing a lot. Keep drawing. Bye.